like you haven't led before. Defending the Razorback seven days away, the high school season just eight days away now. The Pulaski Academy Bruins are the defending five AAA champions. But this year, head coach Kirby Nor Norwood is using what's left of his preseason to work with his young defense, which gave up 21 points a game last year. We've just been working on getting after the ball, getting the guys in key positions, working our inexperienced guys. We just have four starters back on defense, so we've been working those inexperienced guys on defense, trying to get that group together. Everyone loves a Cinderella story, and Pulaski Academy could wear the slipper this fall. The Bruins won nine games in 2000 and were very successful in seven-on-seven -seven competitions over the summer. Quarterback Thomas Thrash threw for more than 2,700 yards and 42 touchdowns last year, and some experienced receivers could help him eclipse those numbers this fall. We've got just about all of our skill players coming back. Thomas Thrash had a great year last year, set all kinds of school records through 42 touchdowns. Scott Hilburn was hurt into our third game last year. He's coming back, so he's going to help us out at receiver. We've got Quentin Jones coming back, Blake Miller on offense. Uh, some other guys that are up and coming that are going to help us out.
we pretty much, we got it done. It wasn't a good win. It was ugly, but it's a W, so we're pretty happy. With it. Guys, you fought back from some adversity in the first half. Everybody agree with that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And you got it done in the second half. You got it done. I saw a lot of heart, a lot of courage by a lot of guys out there. And it's just want to. But you got to want it the whole game. And it, we got to give uh, Clarksville a lot of credit. They played hard. And that second quarter, they brought it to us. They brought more than we wanted because we didn't get it done. But I'm proud of you coming back in the second half and getting it done. Had a lot of big plays, a lot of guys contributed, a lot of guys made some big plays. And we've got to have more of that out of some of you other guys. And that's where we practice and that's where we play games to see who's going to get it done. And we want to find out who can get it done for us every quarter. So when conference time comes, we're here, we're ready to go. So we've got some things to work on to get better at. Everybody agree with that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pulaski Academy traveled to Clarksville where it had its hands full with the Panthers and senior running back Ray Rideout who dominated the first half. He had over 100 yards rushing in the first half, 180 in the game as Clarksville took a 14-7 halftime lead and things didn't go much better on offense for the Bruins as sophomore running back Matt Stoltz and senior quarterback Thomas Thrash fumbled on successive plays. But the Panthers return the favor as senior Bruin defensive back Scott Hilburn pounces on a Panther fumble to set up a 10-yard touchdown pass from Thrash to Rick Campbell. That pulled Pulaski Academy within a point at 14-13. And then Thrash calls his own number as the Bruins take the lead 15 to 14. The two teams then traded turnovers in the fourth quarter as Clarksville senior defensive back Pierce Curran steps in front of a thrash pass and Stoltz forces a Panther fumble that sophomore Stephen Green recovers. Four plays later, thrash finds senior wide receiver Quentin Jones and that'll do it. Pulaski Academy picks up the win 22 to 14. Fifty-three guys right here, fifty-three guys, six coaches, a trainer, I don't know how many water boys, five or six, but we're all going out here for one purpose, aren't we? To be the absolute best that we can be, to show them what Bruin Football 2001 is all about here at Pulaski Academy. We're going to meet, a lot of people are going to be watching. So you go out there and play the best you can, be the best you can be every play, play kind of like a champion every play. Okay, let's get it done. Seniors, lead like you haven't led before. It's your first home game. Show them what leadership's all about, seniors. All 12 of you. Let's get it done. Let's say a prayer, touch somebody. Let's be ready to go out there and get strokes. Our fathers, our parents. <laughs> This is our house. This is where we live. And ain't nobody gonna mess with us. This is our house. This is our house. What up? This is how we show where we're
give that to Willie Green and tell him I want him out of here in 24 hours. And 23 of them are already gone. And they would play like champions. The Battle of the Academies, Pulaski and Subiaco. The direct snap to Matt Stoltz. He goes in standing up, 7-0 PA. Subiaco tries to answer, no. Blake Miller intercepts the LaMarcus Irvin pass, and Blake can fly up the sideline. Then it's Air Thrash. Thomas Thrash, Rick Campbell, are you inbounds? Yes, barely. It's 14-0 PA. Then they go to the air again. It wasn't his night. Stephen Green. National AAU high jump champ. He's only 15, and look at him go. Big, strong kid. His brother plays for the Kansas City Chiefs. And then it's Air Thrash again. Back upstairs, his favorite target, Quinton Jones. At that point, it was 21-0 PA, and they rolled the victory. Subiaco Academy trying to catch Pulaski Academy, looking to head to its upcoming matchup with Shiloh. But the Bruins came out fired up on PA's first play from scrimmage. Thomas Thrash finds Scott Hilburn for a 14-yard gain, exciting the fans in Bruin country. PA working out of a no-huddle offense, and two plays later, Quentin Jones picks up nine yards on the ground, setting the Bruins up first in goal. And check out this play. The snap directly to Matt Stoltz, and he finds the end zone on PA's first drive of the game. That made it 7-0, much to the delight of this future Bruin lineman. He's already working on the fundamentals. PA wins this one 62-16. Again, Shiloh up next for the Bruins. Dead meat. field position of the night, but it hadn't seemed to matter much tonight. They've got it at their own 11. One back formation. They fake the hand. A couple of Saints bite on it. They're going on the streak route, and it is complete. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're not going to catch him. He is falling away from the Shiloh would-be defenders. It's Miller, and Michael, that might have just done it. Rolling right. 
side. He's got a man wide open. Put him in zone. Touchdown, B.A. That was wicked, man. Of course, the Arkansas State High Schools went ahead and played on Friday night, and Pulaski Academy made it easy on me this week because beating Shiloh is a rarity and beating Shiloh up in Springdale is almost unheard of. But the Bruins accomplished both last Friday, and that's why PA is our Friday Night Flight's Wendy's Team of the Week. The Bruins enjoyed a free meal from Wendy's this afternoon. Everything was biggie-sized, of course. Pulaski Academy beat Shiloh 62-29, to thanks in part to PA quarterback Thomas Thrash, who passed for 545 yards and a state record nine touchdowns. You know, last year we lost to him, and, uh, and, the, and the Springdale paper, you know, didn't predict us to score 14 points. And uh, nobody thought we could, you know, win a game, win it at their place. And, uh, and the offensive line just did a great job picking up the blitzes, and the running backs and receivers did a great job finding the open spots in the zone and running really good routes. Shiloh used to running up the scores on uh, their opponents. Well, PA gave them a little of their own medicine. Yes, Nine so. touchdowns. Yowch. Wow. A lot of points. Our Landers High School Player of the Week threw for 586 yards last Friday. He also broke a state record. Our Landers Player of the Week is Thomas Thrash of Pulaski Academy. You could just call him Touchdown Thomas Thrash. Last year, he threw 42 TD passes, and last week, he threw for a state record nine touchdowns in PA's shocking 62-29 win over Shiloh Christian. Those numbers are more impressive when you consider that Thomas Thrash didn't start playing football until his sophomore season at PA. I, don't, I just never liked it until, you know, a couple guys told me to just come on out. And and they say it was real fun. And what about those nine touchdown passes? It's all just the offense. I mean, the receivers made me look good. And the offensive line. Quinton Jones is Thomas's number one target. Last year, they hooked up 69 times. He's smart. Uh, he knows how to read the coverages and things like that, uh, what to do when they're man-to-man, -man, who to throw it to, and why, and things like that. And those who know this senior best say you won't outthink or outwork Thomas Thrash. He's not the biggest kid. Uh, what does he bring to the table, do you think, that makes him successful in this offense? Well, I think he has a real good uh, quarterback's mind, and I think he, you know, he, he reads the defenses real well, and uh, he's just, a, he's just a, a, I think, a good team player. He's going to come to work every day. He's going to spend the time. He spent the time in the summer, and uh, he'll, be, he'll be the first one to practice, the last one to leave. He's done a tremendous job for us, tremendous leader. Thomas does have one problem. How do you top a nine touchdown performance? 15-0, winning a state championship. I could see us playing Warren or somebody in the state championship up at Warren Memorial. Strength and honor. Strength and honor. Strength and honor. At my signal, unleash hell. Begging off and living bored. My hands are tied. 
on Shiloh Christian. They're taking on Dover. First play, Tom Thrash to Scott Filburn to Blake Miller. Back to Thrash. I love it. To Rick Campbell for the big game. That was the first play from scrimmage. Then it's Thrash. Remember, he had nine TD passes last week to Hilburn to make it 7 nothing. But how about Dover trying to shock some folks? Derek Race, no one open. Tucks, runs, breaks a tackle. Nice work by this Pirate. We're tied at 7. Hey, Thomas Thrash can not only pass for touchdowns, he can run for them. Sprinting to his right, says, I'll take it in. It's 14-7 Bruins. They want more. Thrash is going to hook up with his favorite target. One heck of a receiver, Quinton Jones. Still waiting on a final for this one. PA was rolling when we left. But as it turns out, the railroad came through. Russellville became the boomtown. Still, Dover has ambitions, and one of those was beating a very good Pulaski Academy team tonight here in Little Rock. It's our THV Showcase Game of the Week. Thomas Thrash, the name to remember here, the quarterback who threw nine touchdown passes last week, picked up where he left off. Touchdown to Scott Hilburn. Pulaski Academy in control early. But T.J. Sizemore of Dover, would not be denied. He got a first down. And then Derek Race scores a touchdown for Dover, and it's 7-7. to Could we be seeing an upset here? Let's see. Second quarter, Thrash back to work. But so is Chris Schroeder of Dover, and down goes Thrash. But you can't keep this young quarterback down for long. He's got the skills. Touchdown, Quentin Jones. This was actually our third showcase game of the year so far. Here is your final. Lasky Academy wins handily 48 to 14. They continue undefeated. Pulaski Academy appears to be all right on the offensive side of the ball. The local high school is putting up gaudy numbers and making a serious bid for a state title. Tomorrow, we will follow the Bruins to BB and continue to monitor the progress of a terrific tandem that terrifies opponents. The Bruins sure have been playing like champions, especially quarterback Thomas Thrash and receiver Quinton Jones. We set our team goals at the first year before the first game, and uh, we sat down and talked about, you know, winning conference, winning state. What is it about you guys that makes things click out there on the field? If there's one thing you could pinpoint it on. Friendship. Uh, we've been friends ever since seventh grade. Uh, we know each other. He knows what I'm going to do in situations, and I know what he's going to do in situations. Thrash has thrown 15 touchdown passes in the last two games, including nine a couple weeks ago, breaking the all-time single game state record. I never think about that. I'm just trying to, at the end of the season, I'll probably think about it a little, but not too much. <laughs> a humble duo boasting immodest statistics.
Tell me what you're going to do to me. To thrash? No, to me. I'm in front of you. Like 44, like 44. Shut up. Get a picture of the superstar baby. I know, Louise yesterday. He went down and got dressed. He took off without even help. Louise? He took off. Louise does weird. Louise, you get to touch the ball every play. What do you want? He does nothing. I got a if you're too big time. No, I was saying, I said, no, I was going to say John can do it because he left last time. Luis! Thursday dads are great. They are fantastic. We love every Thursday. Yeah, this tastes pretty good. What's going on? I hyperextended my elbow and then our trainer got carried away. <laughs> It's all good today. Go ahead and tell them what kind of stats you've ever been here. 2,000 receiving. 35 touchdowns. See how dumb he looks. Yeah. In the air. <laughs> you want to bet? He's almost halfway there. We ain't even, <laughs> we ain't even halfway there yet. Yeah. You know? Let's talk about my stats. How 12 many, sacks. How many runs? I'm going to be your colors all at my best. 15. I got a big whopping zero. Big zero. <laughs> Coach, did you tell him I'm tied for touchdown? <laughs> it feels good. I mean, we just try to work hard and practice and just get better. I mean, it's hard to come up, you know, come off a game after Shiloh and, and try to get better, but we're still doing it. You know, the offensive line just keeps getting better every game, and they're just doing a great job. Listen and understand that Terminator is out there. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity, or remorse, or fear, and it absolutely will not stop, ever.
a full moon night at BB. The natives are we're shaking cans of BBs, of course. And of course, there's always someone wanting to make a passion statement on Hooten highlights. Carhartt overalls minus the undershirt. Tell you what, that's a real good look now. True story, this guy wagered not to cut his hair for a year. It's on the payday. Number five, Gulaski Academy led early seven to nothing after a nifty punt return by Blake Miller. Record setting quarterback Thomas Thrash passes for 18 of his 361 yards last night. It's favorite receiver, Quentin Jones, number four. On the next play, Jones breaks tackles, cuts across field. He's head to the end zone, but this play was called back due to a penalty. No problem for PA. Rob Bradshaw hauls in a pass for a first down. Four plays later, Thrash hits Jones in the end zone. And this one counts. Thrash completed 30 of 42 passes for five touchdowns last night. And PA has scored more than 60 points twice in the past three weeks. Final score, Bruins 63, BB 26. Alaska Academy quarterback Thomas Thrash has already thrown for over 2,000 yards and 29 touchdowns this season. The 5-0 Bruins and their high-octane offense hosting Pulaski Oak Grove. Thomas Thrash going to the air, of course, but this time Oak Grove is ready. As Marcus Bobbitt comes up with the interception, Oak Grove and a little return there to boot. Oak Grove mustered a field goal to take a short-lived lead 9-7, but Pulaski Academy came back firing. Thrash to Blake Miller for a nice gain. This one down to the 10-yard line. And then a few plays later, Thrash still doing it through the air, of course. Thrash to Quentin Jones in the end zone for the score, 14-9 PA. And PA rolls in this one, 41-17. And we are inside the Pulaski Academy locker room. Head coach Kirby Norwood with a few final words as his team heads to the playing field. What a battle over there today. The 5-0 Pulaski Academy Bruins went up against Bobby Tyner's 4-1 Oak Grove Hornets. We go to Pulaski Academy's field, and they're ready to greet their team. It's homecoming. They're pumped, and so are the Bruins. First play from scrimmage. Hey, quarterback Thomas Thrash is lined up at wide receiver. Gets the lateral, swings to his left, lets it fly. Quinton Jones, his favorite target, makes a great adjustment on the football, breaks a tackle. You're not going to catch him at open field. Bang! 90 yards for the score at 7 0 Pulaski Academy. Here comes the bus for Oak Grove. CC Bacon, 5'8, 232 pounds. He's a load. Hey, great play fake on the goal line. Where's the ball? Matt Pruss to a wide open Marcus Bobbitt. He's going to fight his way in. At this point, it was 7 6. Pulaski Academy. Look at those fans from Oak Grove. 
Hey, the bus is loose again. Look at him go, shedding tacklers. Whoa, this guy is tough. He's only a junior. It would set up a field goal to make it 9-7 Oak Grove. Final minute of the first half. Thomas Thrash looking for his favorite target, Quinton Jones. At this point, it was 14-9. Hey, the number to call, 324-7545. We need a final on that one. Now at Pulaski Academy tonight, this is the other, these, this is a school that is leading the division of the two teams you just saw. And Pulaski Academy, very tough, and you're going to see why. They like to score and score a lot. Thomas Thrash, their quarterback, finds a man over the middle, touchdown PA. Are they satisfied? No. They onside kick after scoring a touchdown. Oh, the dignity of it all. PA would go on to score from there. And here is the final score in this one, Pulaski Wins it big, Classic Academy, 41 to 17. Arkansas football brought to you by Arkansas Heart Hospital and we begin our class 3a highlights at Pulaski Academy where the undefeated Bruins played host to all-timer hey PA was up 28 to 12 with 12 minutes to go and this is quarterback Thomas Thrash making the highlight reel in a hurry hooking up with his favorite target that's Quentin Jones a couple of plays later, Thrash connects with Scott Hilburn for the short scoring pass that put them up 35 to 12, PA in control. On their next possession, the Bruins go to Blake Miller. He hauls in a 45 yard touchdown pass and PA is rolling. Thrash has passed for a mind boggling 41 touchdowns in just seven games. Final score, PA 69, all-timer 18. If you like to root for the underdog, then you had to love the all-timer Red Devils tonight. 35 point underdogs at Pulaski Academy. That's according to Hooten's Arkansas football. Now, I don't want any hate mail from all-timer fans. PA cheerleaders giving us the old 4-1. We'd like to see that. PA up 28-12 early in the second with Thomas Thrash, the state's top passer, finds Quentin Jones, the state's top receiver for a big gain. The end of the play, the ball comes loose, but PA does recover, and three plays later, the Bruins would score. This time, Thrash to Scott Hilburn in the air. 34-12 after a missed PAT. Then on the next drive, Thrash doing what else? Passing way downfield, looking for Blake Miller. He's there, hauls it in around the one for another touchdown. That made it 41 to 12, PA. All timer had to punt it away, and PA only, PA only needed three more plays to score again. This time, Thrash to Miller again. 48 12 at that point, and at last check, PA led this one 55 to 18 in the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah. 
Friday is the land of almost all the home games. They, they feed the team. It's a team thing. It's very generous of the land of the moms, the dads, the comedy. They just get together. We probably had, and we had extra today, we had the ninth graders today, so because they've moved up. So we probably had 75 today, probably that many. Um, we fixed chicken uh, spaghetti today, <laughs> we, um, and had salad and rolls and then some kind of dessert. We had eight big casseroles of chicken spaghetti. Sometimes we fix regular spaghetti. Uh, we fixed lasagna before, but the kids seem to like chicken spaghetti. And one of these days, soon, I'm going to grill steaks. And we're going to have steaks. Why do you like doing this? Why? Well, of course, this is, you know, Scott's last year, you know, senior, and it just promotes, you, you can see we have so much fun. It promotes the camaraderie with all the parents and the kids and the dads and the moms and the, you know, we've got Miss Holman here today, and of course the coaches come, and it just kind of promotes team unity. You've got to ask yourself one question, do I feel lucky? Well, do you bunk? Are you ready to go? Got it, I'm ready to go. What you gonna do, baby, baby? Are you going with me? Got it, I'm going with you. That's the end of the time. What is it, relay? What's going on here? You got the system for total control. Now is there anybody out there? Now watch yourself for you, cause we can't go. Arkansas football brought to you by Arkansas Heart Hospital and we begin our class 3a highlights in the 5 triple a with Atkins at Pulaski Academy and PA's Thomas Thrash continues to shred opponents defenses he finds Rick Campbell with his five-yard scoring strike that was Thrash's sixth touchdown toss of the night and we're just midway through the second quarter Atkins standout running back Nick Stokes broke his neck a few weeks ago the Red Devils are missing him. Senior Red Devil Dustin Wiley was at his quarterback last week. Out of the backfield, he picks up short yardage here. Ryan Burris is now the Red Devil QB. He hits Aaron Rupin for a first down. Then PA brings the blitz. Matt Stokes strips the ball loose, and John Aaron Reese recovers for the Bruins. Here comes Thrash again, throwing to his main man, Quinton Jones, who fights and calls for another Pulaski Academy touchdown. 
the Bruins would get the ball again before the half, and Thrash drops back, hits Jones, and the Bruins led Atkins 56-7 at halftime. Thrash would only see action on two plays in the second half, but throw for touchdowns on both. And with 10 touchdown passes, Thrash ties the modern day national record for TD tosses in a game. Final score, Pulaski Academy 77, Atkins 20. Right now, let's turn over to John Getze for a preview of our Game of the Week, Pulaski Academy at Central Arkansas Christian. John? Mark, Pulaski Academy is one of the most potent offenses in the country. These guys are scoring close to 60 points a game. Quarterback Thomas Thrash is already in the national record books, and the Bruins have three of the top five receivers in the state. Anybody can score on this team, and if you don't believe me, I'm now joined by Scott Landers, a lineman. For PA, and I understand even you have found the end zone this season? Yes, sir. We played uh, BB, and uh, I scored on a tackle around play. It was a rushing play, so we got, I got in a touchdown, too. So. Sean Harmon, another offensive lineman. I understand even you have found Pater as well. Yes, sir. Uh, it was the same formation, uh, but we shovel trapped it to me. Six yards right into the end zone. Couldn't, couldn't stop me. It was, it was a huge game. A lot, of, a lot of touchdowns on camera. Is there anything that has not worked in the Bruin playbook this football season? Well, our coach Kelly's got uh, he's got most of this offense planned out, and just about everything he puts in there comes up with scoring on it. Good luck tonight, fellas. Thank you. Thank you. Go get them. Kickoff here is set at 7.30 with CAC. Of course, on the highlights and a live report, it should be another high-scoring affair coming up tonight on Friday Night Flights. We'll see you then, Mark. All right, thanks, John. Now I can't make you do it. You gotta look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're gonna see a guy who will go that inch with you. You're gonna see a guy 
who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're going to do the same for him. But that's a team, gentlemen. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. As football guys, that's all it is. I knew Quentin Jones and uh, I knew Thomas Stash an outstanding athlete. Boy, it was a great day when we got him to come out for football. And I uh, also knew that uh, Tim Camp, Charles Rott, and guys like that were, were talented and, and great kids. But uh, no, to be 10 and 0, you know, you hope that every year. But it's been a great, pleasant surprise that these guys have come on and done what they've done this year.
PA. Huh? I don't know. Okay. They're good. Huh? They're good. into the playoffs as the top seed from the 5 AAA with a home field advantage throughout the playoffs. On Friday night, the Bruins visited rival Central Arkansas Christian. PA's record setting quarterback Thomas Thrash goes to work hitting Blake Miller for a 20-yard touchdown. On the Bruins' next possession, it's CAC's John Rochelle coming up with a big hit on Bo Bichetti. Same drive, Thrash hits Miller for a 16-yard touchdown. Miller caught 12 passes for 210 yards and two touchdowns Friday night. Thrash will smash the national record of 66 touchdown passes in a season set by former shallow quarterback Josh Floyd. And Thrash will probably do it in the first round of the playoffs when Hughes comes to Little Rock. Final score, PA 62, Central Arkansas Christian 7. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dying times here. Pulaski Academy entered the Class 3A playoffs with a perfect 10-0 record, and most wondered not whether the Bruins would beat Hughes tonight, but how many touchdowns would Thomas Thrash throw in the victory? As Thrash had accounted for 64 TD passes so far, needed two more to tie the national record. Well, here's his 65th touchdown pass Thrash to Rick Campbell to put PA up 7-zip in the first quarter. Hughes answered with a touchdown, but Thrash went back to work. 
finding Scott Hilburn for another. That's number 66. That ties the national record, but Kitty break it? Thrash rolling right, spots Blake Miller along the sideline, and Blake does the rest coming back our way for TD number 67. That's it, a new national record. And Mr. Thrash is gonna hold on to that ball for a while. But wait, there's more as Thrash adds to his record with another short touchdown pass to Matt Stoltz. Thrash ended up with six touchdown passes as PA romps 63 to 29. Well, last week, Thomas Thrash tied, broke, and then added to the national record for touchdown passes in a season. He has 70, so this week he could focus on leading his Pulaski Academy Bruins to their third round of the 3A playoffs. The undefeated Bruins welcome the Sand Lizards of Dardanelle. These two teams came in with a combined record of 20 and 2. PA up 14 zip in the second. Thomas Thrash looking for more, adding to his national record with that pass to Blake Miller. 21 0 Bruins. Same score early in the third. Thrash, plenty of time. Heaving one up, and Quentin Jones going to come down with it. Takes a nice hit, but holds on for a 25-yard gain, helping set up this. An 18-yard screen pass to Miller, and PA is rolling up 27 zip at that point, and PA wins 49-14 the final. Well, the Arkansas game kicks off at 1.30, and then about six hours later, the state playoffs resume. 12 games on tap, including our Friday Night Flights Game of the Week. As 12 0 Pulaski Academy hosts 10 and 1 Pine Bluff Dollarway, John Getze tells us what to expect. The Cardinals have already won a state championship under David Jordan, but the head coach of Dollarway hasn't seen a quarterback like Thomas Thrash all year, or any year for that matter. Thrash is the most accurate quarterback I've seen. You know, 25 yards in, the, the kid puts the ball between their numbers almost every play. And 
Maybe we're, we're going to see if he can do that with people in his face. Which means the Pine Bluff School will play a handful of offensive players on defense for the first time to try and defend the nation's all-time single-season touchdown leader. That gives us nine guys on defense that run 4-6 or better, and we're just going to try to you know, use our athleticism and, and, and play with them. Stop thrash. That's the game plan. We can shut them down. Yeah, we're going to try to pressure him, uh, but you know, if you, if you put people up there to rush, then you're leaving fewer people covering back there, and they've got five receivers out on almost every play. And one of those receivers, the QB's favorite target, is no longer nursing a bad ankle. Quentin Jones is back. He's full speed. He had uh, four touchdowns last week after he missed two games. So how many TD passes does the record breaker plan on throwing Friday night? Enough to get a win.
Week three of the high school playoffs, a triple-A showdown, Pulaski Academy, the 12-0 Bruins up against the 10-1 Dollaway Cardinals. And here come the Bruins, but it was Dollaway who struck first. Eddie Ringo is loose. Watch him head to the sideline. Steven Green will run him down. But later in this drive, Ringo will take it in at 7-0 Dollaway. Second quarter, touchdown, Thomas Thrash. Uh-oh, a little overthrown. Watch the effort by Andre Bennett. This kid will not go down. Look at him being hit. He's gonna, oh, he goes to the other side of the field, turn it up, gets a great block. He's gonna lay his body out. Didn't get in there. Two yard line. And it's Ringo to Rodney McGee. It's now 14 0. Thomas Thrash went out with an injury. This is his younger brother, Adam. Bombs away and bang! Right to Blake Miller. 14 7 at this point, and that's the way it ended. Dollarway over Pulaski Academy by a score of 14 to 7. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and day 
red skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable But in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life Cruise. I consider it a challenge before 